What up, y'all? It's your boy, Plant Man Pete. And today we are going to be doing a long overdue plant haul. This is our first plant haul of 2020. Uh, we were supposed to be doing like plant hauls um, every first or every last Monday of the month. But we just got sidetracked and just started doing um, all other content that we could. But we'll go ahead and loop up every single uh, plant that we did purchase uh, for 2020 in this video. But I wanted to take this time out right now to let you guys know that we do have like 50% of you guys that are watching our videos that are not subscribed. So what are you guys doing? Just uh, take this time out, stop this video, or even just scroll down a little bit and hit that subscribe button because you're already here. So you might as well, you're already here, you're enjoying this content, so you might as well hit that subscribe button, even turn on a post notification so that way you don't miss out on another video. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this 2020 plant haul. Since we are already in the room, let's go ahead and jump into uh, this guy's new. Uh, we got him from our uh, sip and swap at the sill. Our first ever uh, plant swap, sip and swap, whatever you want to call it. But it was so dope to see you guys there. Shout out to the sill. Shout out to everybody who went. This is from one of the homies, Sean. He works at Wild Bunch. Super shout out to Wild Bunch. They always hold it down. But this is a philodendron horse head, if I believe. Um, we got it as a cutting. It rooted hella fast. So we already popped that baby in soil. Got high hopes for him. He looks so fire. So I can't wait to see this new growth pop and uh, get this plant more mature. And we also got this uh, fiddle leaf fig. His name is Alfred. Uh, we got him from Home Depot. Oh, um, super uh, plant tip. If you get a plant from Home Depot and it dies, you could actually return it. So I'm not gonna say this guy's gonna die, but it, it's low key looking like it. Um, he did have way more um, leaves, but they are falling off. But he also is getting a bunch of new growth. All these three are new. He is getting some black spots. Black spot there, black spot there. So I don't know, man. We're just going to play it by ear or play it by leaf and see how it goes. But I will do a video on, uh, in the event that this homie dies, I will do a video on returning it. I'm going to return it as a stick and see what happens. This is another plant we got from the sip and swap from the sill. It is a philodendron heart leaf. Um, it is growing new growth like crazy. Super excited to see uh, it trail. Super excited to see it just flourish all crazy. Look at this thing. New growth everywhere. Um, a few of the larger leaves uh, fell off, but that's uh, given with these kind of plants, especially the, the older leaves always do fall off. Not always, but for the most part, they will fall off. You gotta worry if the new growth falls off. But this is a heart leaf philodendron that we got from the sill. Actually, Plant Lady P went over this on, our, on her uh, top five favorite house plants, but this thing doesn't have a drainage hole. So that goes to show you how easy it is to care for this guy. Another one of the new plants we got is this dude, the philodendron. Not sure on the ID of this, but we did get this from Mickey's. Super fire plant, probably gonna let it trail. See what's going on with it. But yeah, new growth going crazy. Um, care tips is super easy. It's super dope to have one of these type of plants. Um, if you guys don't know, philodendrons are my favorite house plants. And just look at this foliage. Like, it looks so dope. Like, it's crazy to see what plants can do and what plants turn out to be and just how they grow. Like, how do you get these type of leaves? Like, look at this. Like, it is insane to see, like, plants just do their own thing and just go crazy. That's one of the most important things or one of my most favorite things about house plants is just seeing them grow. Like that is the dopest thing ever. And my boy Rocky is another one of our pickups of 2020. A 60,000 pound cactus, Euphorbia amic. I'm just kidding, it's not 60,000 pounds, but it does feel like it. Super dope, like look at the variegation on this thing. Um, these are new growths. It is growing pretty rapidly for a cactus, you know? But yeah, this is a Euphorbia amic. It's definitely one of my favorite cactus. Uh, the Euphorbia species in general is one of my favorites. And we also did get this uh, dragon bone or whatever you want to call it. It's 
many different names for this guy but we got this dude from rainbow and i posted a picture on instagram with this uh pot combo and you guys enjoyed it but it's hella heavy so let me put this thing down somewhere so yeah i haven't repotted it yet i will sometime i don't know when but i'll probably repot it in this guy versus and take it out of the nursery pot but yeah this is a euphorbia a dragon bone cactus and we got it from rainbow the pot is from concrete geometric super fire cactus if you guys are into cactus i think this is one of the the cactus that you guys should have it is pretty dope they are kind of expensive i would say like anywhere from 45 to 60 dollars depending on the size but yeah this is super dope shout out to rainbow and this is actually another uh, pickup from our plant swap this is from cactus sound shout out to cactus sound this is a ripsilis cactus um the roots on this guy are going crazy so uh, i'm probably gonna wait a little bit longer to repot but i'm most likely gonna group them all together so that way it's just a larger uh plant let me see these guys and uh quick tips on propagating uh, I do like to um, switch out the water once a week so that way it can just stay fresh and clean and room temperature water is ideal. But yeah, this is a Ripsilis cactus and this is another one of our pickups in 2020. And this is a Euphorbia Engines we got from Mescala Nursery. Another one of my favorite cactus. Well, this is probably my favorite cactus aside from the Madagascar palm. It's probably a tie between the two. A lot of new growth on this guy. So I am super excited to see it grow. Has been growing rather fast. So I just can't wait to see it large, see it flourish. And the pot is from, I don't even remember. I think it's like OC Succulents or something like that. If you guys are in California, you know what the place is called. OC Succulents and Gardens, I don't know. But yeah, so this is a Euphorbia Engines. Peep the drip on this dude. And I don't know the names of these cactus, um, so I'm not going to even try to pronounce them. But um, we got this guy from uh, California Cactus Center. This dude from Escala Nursery. This Paper Spine Cactus from Escala. This Zigzag Cactus from Escala. This was from uh, someplace in San Diego. I don't remember the name. What else we got? All these dudes are older let me see oh for the most part this whole section is new uh, this dude we got from leaf and spine this dude we got from Escala. ikea believe it or not ikea believe it or not Mescala. um california cactus center mickey's Mescala. ikea believe it or not <laughs> And, oh, that one's old, but we got it from Home Depot. And this is from Mescala as well. Let's see. Oh, this dude, um, if I'm not mistaken, it is a Euphorbia Engines as well. We got him from Palm Springs. I think it's Mariscos is what it's called. And this one's losing its, its, its blooms, but we got this from Mescala or um, Mariscos as well. Look at this dude. Super fire. I can't wait to see it, like, droop. Uh, as weird as that sounds like they get super long and just do whatever the hell they want I can't wait to see that so yeah these two dudes we got from our Palm Springs trip and if you haven't seen it I'll link it in the end screen or in the top left corner or right corner I think it's right but yeah I'll go ahead and link it and just like that that is a wrap for today's video uh, it is short because we haven't really got any plants in 2020 um, mostly cactus um, but we will be getting more house plants but we actually are just focusing on the plants that we do have now, uh, mastering them, mastering the care routines, and just focusing on creating content for you guys. I know plant shopping is technically content, but y'all know what I mean. We're just more focused on the plants that we do have now. Now that we aren't rookies in the plant game, we aren't just getting anything and everything that we do see. Um, I'm mostly getting things for you know, just a collection or what I do really want. Um, there are a few spaces in the balcony boy section that I do want to uh, fill in, but that will come eventually. But like I said, we are just focusing on the plants we do have now 
and just focusing on creating content for you guys, uh, merch, more YouTube videos, and purchasing plants isn't in our uh, vision. So again, that is gonna be a wrap for today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. It helps us out a lot. And if you did enjoy it, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what was your favorite plant that we picked up in 2020. And let us know what you guys are doing. Are you guys buying plants? Or are you guys doing like us and focusing on the ones that you do have now? Let us know. I do read the comments a lot, so I will respond to you. I always respond. It is pretty crazy to see how much you guys are engaged with us. So I do appreciate it, thank you so much. But again, that is gonna be a wrap for today's video. If you are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.